Adia Barnes first met Kobe Bryant in 1999 while she was playing in the WNBA. It was her second year in the league and Kobe had just finished his third season with the LA Lakers. Like I met him with my WNBA team at the time and I have a picture of him like way back then in the hallway. Like this is when he first started. In his fourth season, Kobe went on to win his first of five NBA titles. Is it what you dreamed of or is everything a more? If there was one thing nobody questioned about Bryant, it was his non-stop work ethic. Um, his mentality is so um, amazing. Um, just the way he approaches things, his work ethics, I've read a lot of things and listened to a lot of stuff that he's done and um, he's just different. The news of Brian's death along with his daughter Gianna and seven others aboard the helicopter sent shockwaves across the world. And just finishing practice and it kind of leaked so everybody started to find out and it was just devastating. Barnes's husband, Salvo Copa, coached the women's national team in Thailand in 2011. During the same time, Kobe's father, Joe Bryant, coached the men's team. The last time Adia or Salvo saw Kobe was in 2018 when the two attended the Vanguard coaching clinic. Uh, you can feel uh, the energy he was uh, talking, he was explaining. Um, it was just uh, great to hear uh, somebody like him. My son actually told him to be quiet, and I was like, do you know you're telling him to be quiet? <laughs> doesn't know, doesn't understand, but then Kobe started playing with him. But just a great man overall, a great role model. While he's no longer with us, Brian's impact on men's and women's basketball won't be forgotten. Um, he's just, he was a mentor to so many NBA guys, and a lot of guys don't get back like that. And I think for, for women's basketball, a legend, in fact, that he had, he left an imprint on Sabrina, on uh, Van Lith, another, she's a high school prospect that's going to Louisville. But he went out and touched, like Samuelson from Connecticut. Um, people don't have that mentality he has, so he's just one of a billion. Reporting for the Arizona Daily Star, I'm Alec White.